AD Nico, most one of the most just annoying laners that exists. I mean, there's also several people who are, um... And none of he doesn't have that ability. He also has Ghost Flash, so he doesn't have Ignite Kill Pressure. Nerd. Nerd! Nobody ever really dies. Except for you. Doing much better in that Nico matchup than I usually do. But this guy also just isn't as strong of a player as most. Has so much ghost up. Alright, well, I have 4 KP right now. 4 KP. I have a 4 minutes, Greaves, and Sheen. Yes. Do I hit six on this wave? I think I could. Guys getting low on mana too. I wasn't able to get any damage on him. Huge.
Yeah, bro. Nobody has ignite, so I was safe to do that. Smurfin. Smurfin. Wave is in a good spot for me, I think. Bye. And good night. Yay. Dog, weren't you challenged? Nope. Then latch, what a noob. I could have just done a different type of Q, because his Q wasn't going to kill me. I don't think his latch does more damage than that, so he had to get another thing. Well. I'm out. Go mid, Draven, and I'll go bot. I gotta take some of this bot. Yep, thought I was pretty OP. Work is gonna be unnecessary as after this play. Ah, uh, nah. What's DN? What is DN? Clueless. I have no idea what DN stands for. Hey, Trist. Rocket. Pocket. Okay, did I just retard it? I have ult in. That's all I can do. I wanted to wait to get Draven to kill. Yep. That was exactly what I was doing. I we saw Draven right here. Or no 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 no, you need to you need to leave, you need to leave, bro. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. Don't nut, yes. That was a little bit ins. That was a little bit ins. No reason to do that. This guy is saying no fap is crazy. DN is crazy. The guy has no ult. important to not give up random kills like that when you're so far ahead is that it's it's seriously a time where we've played better for 10 minutes of the game and if you make one mistake then all of a sudden you lose nightly emissions don't
But also, there are ways to not, you know. That's something that can be avoided. Not wearing uh, underwear when you sleep. Nice little Draven kill. get this. Gwen should be able to get that again. It is Gwen after all. And I'm getting this entire turret before the game goes done. And by the game I mean the turret blades, which is really nice. Unban me. From what? Yeah, we don't need to fight. I have so much gold. Please stop him! Auto attack him! All you have to do is auto attack him and he loses all of his MS. Yeah, that's all that champion, that's all Nami needed to do right there was just auto attack. Okay, yeah, support moment. Uh, he let himself get DPS way too much for no reason. He just needed to kill the. Lucian right there. Alright, we're good. But yeah, it's genuinely an effort to not throw games. One of the most important things that you have to learn, especially if you're coming into the game from... Like, if you came from the game after taking a break, you really gotta understand that Giving up a couple of random kills will just lose you the game, no matter how far ahead you are. Comebacks are just too easy. So the time where you have the least focus, which is often when you're really far ahead and you're like, come on guys, let's just end the game, is the most likely time for you to have like one big shutdown turn into 10 shutdowns. that we didn't have the dragon right there. No, we had it like a, a long time ago. play games when team comps are in your favor and use your three dodges. Yes. If you're super serious about climbing, that's just the most effective way to climb is just dodge abusing. Which I never do. I basically never do. I only dodge... I only dodge when it's explicit that somebody on my team is coming in with the aim to troll me. That's the only time that I ever dodge. 
Which happens. It happens. You have three dodges? I mean, you technically have infinite dodges, but first dodge means the five minute timer, then the 30 minute timer, then the 12 hour timer. Oh my god. That doesn't have his mythic yet. with somebody when you're low against Warwick. Oh, why did I, why am I not ulting? That's so ins. Although, it didn't look like Hecarim wanted to go in there, so it wasn't a good play anyway. This guy is his item. But yeah, this is seriously the dangers of throwing. You don't want to throw. You don't lose any MMR for dodging. So in the long term, it doesn't matter. The LP loss isn't relevant. It's not real. You're only losing front-end stuff. And this is why so many, especially in higher elo, so many people dodge is because you can get a solid 300 LP over what you actually deserve by simply abusing dodging. Of like, oh hey, a su you have two support mains on your team? Dodge. Easy. That alone will win you, um, like 1% more games. If you just have two support mains, you dodge. Autofill jungle, dodge. You're against that matchup that really tilts you. Dodge. Easy. Easy, bros. I am giving you advice for something that I don't do personally. One is because I primarily like play on stream, and then two is... There's also kind of a, a feeling of, like, niceness. of knowing that I don't dodge at all. So my LP is more true. Although, if you think about it, you gaining extra LP by dodging necessarily, necessarily means that you're taking LP away from somebody else because they don't dodge. So, me not dodging means that I am giving free LP to those who do dodge. Because the LP doesn't just spawn out of nowhere, you know? Because I just, I just hate dodge queue. I just want to get into games. It's just the minus 10 doesn't, doesn't matter at all. It does not matter that it's minus 10. Because it's, it's only LP that you lose. You don't lose MMR. So if anything, dodging increases your game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dopa has a really good analogies on this kind of stuff, is that certain behaviors in solo queue will make you, um, will change what your true LP is. Somebody who dodges a ton has a bunch of fake LP. Somebody who plays support has fake LP. Somebody who plays like Kiana, Talon, Katarina has fake LP. Champions that can ignore laning phase have fake LP. 
Like a lot of those roaming assassins that just AFK the lane and just get a bunch of kills bot lane. Yeah, that's fake LP. Of like being a one trick is more or less fake, fake LP, which I will admit it is fake LP. Playing off peak hours can often be considered fake LP, especially in higher elos. Think about TF Blade on his climb to. Yeah, I don't know why this is uh, an event. Uh, nah, this guy had meta to fight. This guy had meta to fight. Although Jason's getting caught right there, is really weird. Some champs allow you to take the path of least resistance and largest margin per error? Yes. I want this red. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, look at Tyler1. Is You think about how Tyler1 is as a person, and you're like, oh, yeah, he's like, ar, ar. ah. But his gameplay is the exact opposite. His gameplay is the most selfless gameplay that exists. I can just ignore you. I don't need to actually take the turrets. Because, like, you look at what he plays, right? Draven, or er, he doesn't play Draven anymore. Because he's not a good enough mechanical player to be a, a Draven main anymore. So, he's playing a lot of champions like Ivern, Cho'Gath, Karthus, Heimerdinger, Annie, Nautilus. Not only all selfless champions who are like weak side warriors. They're weak side warriors, but they're also low mechanical champions who can win through macro. Which, like, Tyler1 is no longer the mechanical beast Draven player that he used to be. So it's really important that he tries to do those more reliable, less ego-driven wins. So thank you guys all for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. I, if you want to hear more about that whole Tyler1 thing, I do have a video on Tyler1 on my YouTube channel when he hit Challenger on top lane. He did the same on support, and everything is pretty much exactly what was said in that video. See you guys. Happy wonderful day. Goodbye. Good night.